Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a shiny pill from scratch and how you can change its color instantly. Using these methods, you'll be able to create shiny objects of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Click on the ruler on the left of your document and drag out the guideline to the center. It'll snap into place because we have snap checked. Now click on the top ruler and do the same. Go to the layers panel and click on the new layer icon. Call up your rounded rectangle tool and make sure the fill pixels icon is highlighted. I'm choosing a radius of 200 pixels. You may want to use a different number depending on the size and resolution of your object. Go to the center of your guidelines and press Alt or Option as you click and drag out the shape. When you release your mouse or pen, it'll instantly fill in with your foreground color. Double click on the pill layer which will open the layer style window. Click on gradient overlay and then click on the gradient box. This will open the gradient editor. Click on the lower right box and then click on the color box. Change the brightness to 50%. Click OK and then click OK on the gradient editor. In the layer style window click stroke and then click on the color. We'll change the brightness to 50% as well and then click OK. Change the size to 8 pixels and make sure the position is outside. Next, check Inner Glow and change the Blend Mode to Normal. Change the Opacity to 40% and the Size to 35 pixels. Click OK. Let's add some text. Click on the Type tool and click on the curved double arrow to reverse the foreground and background colors. Or you can press the letter X to do this too. Click on the Character Text box. I'm choosing a font called Arial Black. Click on your pill and type in your word. To move your text, click on the Move tool or press the letter V. Then click on the word and move it. We want to center this text on the pill shape. To do this, press Ctrl or Command T to call up your Transform tool and then drag it until it snaps into place in the center. Then press Enter or Return. We're going to make the text look like it's wrapping around the pill, so press the Warp Text icon and click on the arrow next to the word None, then choose Bulge. Click on Vertical and change the Bend to 10%. Go to the Layers panel and change the Blend Mode to Overlay. Click on the New Layer icon and call up your Round Rectangular tool again. We're going to make the highlight on the pill. Make sure your foreground color is white. Click a little bit inside the upper left of the pill drag out the shape and release. Double click on this layer to call up the layer style window and in advanced blending check blend interior effects as group. Click gradient overlay and then click on the gradient box. Click on the box in the lower left and then click on the color. Type in 25 percent for the brightness. Click OK on all the boxes to close them out. On the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Screen and bring the opacity down to 90%. Find your white base background and click on the eyeball to hide it. And now we're going to make a composite snapshot of the pill without the background by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Press Alt or Option as you click on the eyeball of the composite layer. This will hide all the other layers in the Layers panel. Now let's go back to the white background to make it visible. Go back to the pill and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the pill shape. This will call up its selection. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out a rectangle over the left half of the pill shape. It'll snap to its center because we have snap checked. When you release, you'll see it made a selection of the left half of the pill. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the left half of the pill and place it on its own layer. 
Go back to the pill shape and press Control or Command as you click on it to call up the selection. Now go to the right side of the pill and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out a rectangle over the right half of the pill shape. Press Control or Command J to cut and copy the right half of the pill. We'll hide the entire pill since we have both halves. Press Control or Command H to hide the guidelines. With the right side of the pill active, press Control or Command T to call up the transform tool. Now go to the top and change the height and width both to 99%. Press Enter or Return to accept the transform. Press V to get your move tool and then press the left arrow key until the right half of the pill meets the left. Press Control or Command as you click on the right half of the pill to call up its selection. Press Q to make the selection into a quick mask and then call up your rectangular marquee tool. Drag a rectangle over the right half of the pill but leave a little space on the left. Press Control or Command D to get rid of the selection and then press Q to make this quick mask into a selection. We'll create a shadow inside this narrow selection. Press Control or Command H to hide it. Press Control or Command L to call up the levels window. We'll change the input midtone level to 0.65. Click on the top layer and press Control or Command E to merge the two halves together. We're ready to make the pill's reflection. Press Control or Command J to make a copy of the pill and then click on the layer below it and press Control or Command T to call up the transform tool. Go to Edit, Transform and Flip Vertical. Press Enter or Return and with your Move tool press Shift as you drag it just below the top hill. Change the reflection's opacity to 50 percent and click on the layer mask icon. Click on your gradient tool and make sure the white to black gradient is chosen as a linear gradient. Press shift as you click and drag up then release. The reflection is a bit too light so let's change the layer masks opacity. We'll go from 50 to 70 percent. We're ready to add some color. Click on the top layer and click on the adjustment layer icon. Click on hue saturation and check Colorize. Click on this overlapping circle icon. It will make this adjustment layer adjust all the layers below it. Sliding the hue and saturation will change the color of the pill and its reflection. So here is our pill in a variety of colors. Using the methods shown here, you can create shiny objects in whatever shape you'd like. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.